When you upload a video to YouTube, you'll come across this screen where you have to choose between private, unlisted, members only if you have membership set up, or public. You typically don't want to set it to public right away because there's some things you want to decide upon like your title, your tags, your description, and you want to upload a thumbnail. And you want to make sure all that is done before your subscribers get notified that you've released a new video. The members only option is only available to people with membership set up and it's when you want a certain video to be viewed by only certain members of your channel. So that leaves private or unlisted as the two most likely options that you're going to want to choose from when you upload a video. And it can be rather confusing as to which one to choose. Let's go over them. So the first option here, private, if you choose private, that means that the only way people can see your video is if you add them to your account or you invite them to share your video privately with them. So that would mean clicking on this link here, and then you would enter their email addresses, they would get notified, and then you can invite them that way and they'd be able to see your video. This is typically the best option to choose if you absolutely don't want anybody else to see your video except for people you might want to invite until you have everything else set up. So then what about unlisted? Let me just close out of here. If you choose unlisted, this essentially is the same thing as private in that nobody's gonna be able to find your video. It's not gonna be searchable. Uh, on YouTube, so people can't search on YouTube and then accidentally come up with this video, your video won't be available in search. Same as with private. But the main difference is with unlisted videos, you will be given a link that you can then share with other people. This link will work. If you send your video link, your YouTube video link to whoever, if you announce it on your Facebook page, for instance, then people will be able to click that and watch your video. And more so, people who do that will also be able to send that link elsewhere and other people will be able to click on it. So you really don't have control over how much your video gets shared. So then you might be thinking, well, I don't plan to share my video link with anybody. I just wanna be able to check things to make sure everything is all set and ready to go and there's no monetization, copyright strikes and I'm happy with the thumbnail, and I like the title, I like the description, all that, and I'm not gonna share the link with anybody, so what's the difference? Unlisted and private are pretty much then the same thing, right? Well, yes, but also no. <laughs> when you upload a video to YouTube, earlier on in the upload process, you'll come across a section where you're allowed, you're able to add your video to playlists. You get to that section before you get to this section here. And if you've chosen to add your video to a playlist, then your video, if you set it to unlisted, that will not hide it from your playlist. So if it's unlisted, people will be able to go to your homepage, your channel homepage, and scroll down to that playlist, and your unlisted video will show up there. What's more is that playlists themselves can be shared. So if somebody has the link to that playlist, they can share that link with whoever they want to. And then those people who, who get the link shared with them will also be able to find your unlisted video in that playlist. So the absolute safest way to upload your video, if you absolutely do not want anybody to see it, unless you invite them specifically, is to upload as private. Is that what I do? No, <laughs> there's another even better option. The thing is, if you upload it as private or unlisted, eventually you're gonna to wanna to make that video public, right? You want people to be able to search for and find your video. And the way you would do that is you would change it from private or unlisted to public. So that's a manual process you'd have to log into your YouTube studio and do. Make that change to public. But a problem that could arise by doing it this way is that since YouTube prioritizes new content, if you change a video that you uploaded previously as private or unlisted and you change that to public, let's say you initially uploaded that video a month ago, well then YouTube may not treat that as a brand new video because it's been in their system. Okay, so they may not send out the same number of notifications and you may not get the same amount of exposure that you'd like to for a brand new video. A better way to handle this, and this is what I do, is if you scroll down a little bit further and you see this schedule option, just click the drop down box. This is where you can schedule your video to go from private to public. Okay, and you would just simply pick the date that you want it to go uh, public on and you can choose the time, okay, that you want it to go public and then that's it. You would click here and schedule it and it would then automatically go 
from private to public on the date that you choose. But what if you don't know exactly when you want your video to go public? No problem. All you do is you pick a date far enough in advance to start with, and you can always go back and change it. So here in YouTube Studio, what you would do is go over to content and then locate the video. Here's the video I just uploaded. And there are two ways to, to make this change. Over here under visibility, we see that it is scheduled. You can click on this drop down box, and then this is where we can change the date and time and revise the schedule option. Let's say I want it to now, now that I've gone through it, I know everything is fine. I now want to schedule it for the 22nd. I make the change there and then I would click schedule. Now it's been changed. And you can always hover over this to see the exact date and time that it's scheduled. Another way you can do this is uh, when you locate the video, click on the details icon here and that'll bring you into the edit window. And then over here on the right, simply scroll down and you'll see visibility is scheduled. We can click on this drop down box. And then from here, we can make the change that we wanna make. Let's change it back to the 23rd, click on done. And then if, when you make the change here, make sure you click the save button up at the top. So now you got all the information you need. You know the difference between public, private, unlisted, and members only so that you can choose the one that works best for you.